Hello everyone. My name is Chu Cao. I'm a software engineer at the MathWorks. In this video, I will show you how you can develop Visual Slam algorithms for automated driving applications. This is a typical feature-based Visual Slam workflow. You can use the computer vision toolbox to build the pipeline. Let's go over the steps one by one. You start with map initialization. After extracting features from two consecutive image frames, you can match the features and then compute the relative pose of the camera. Then you can use triangulation to obtain the 3D world points corresponding to matched image points. To refine the reconstruction, you can use boundary adjustment that minimizes reprojection errors. Once the map is initialized, you will process each new frame as follows. In the tracking stage, you match features of the current frame with those of the past frames to build 3D to 2D correspondence. Here, the red points are the tracked map points in the current frame. Then in the localization stage, you can use the 3D to 2D correspondence to estimate the camera pose in the world coordinates. To refine the estimation, use motion-only boundary adjustment. While localizing the camera, you can map the environment simultaneously. This is done by using triangulation to create new 3D world points. Same as before, you can use bandwidth adjustment to refine the map. Now, repeat the process for each frame until you get a map of the environment and the postgraph of camera views. The Visual Slam pipeline terminates when loop closure is detected. That is, the camera returns to a place that has been visited before. Once you find the loop closure using the backward features approach, you can optimize the postgraph to get a camera trajectory that is more close to the ground truth. Now let's see how Visual Slam can be used in automated driving. If you have automated driving toolbox, you can leverage Unreal simulation to generate image data and camera ground truth of different scenarios to test the Visual Slam algorithms. To set up the scene, use the Simulation 3D Scene Configuration block. Here we select the parking lot. You can also use the Simulation 3D Vehicle with Ground Following block to add more vehicles into the scene. Next, you need to configure the camera sensors. We support two types of cameras, pinhole and fisheye. They output the perceived images and the ground truth as well. Once you set up the scene and the cameras, you can run the simulation to generate data. Now you can test the Visual Slam pipeline to build a map of the parking lot. Here, the top figure shows the tracked features in the current frame. The lower figure displays the reconstructed parking lots and the estimated camera trajectory. If you would like to learn more about Visual Slam, please visit our documentation and try the examples. Thank you.